Hello everyone, welcome to Java Expert. In today's video, we will discuss about OAuth2 implementation in Spring Boot with Google OAuth2 Server. So this is a basic flow how OAuth2 authentication is working. So first, browser will initiate the request to our REST endpoint. Now in our REST API, we will done some configuration uh, to mention this request needs to be authenticated with Google OAuth2 server. So our API will send back to browser with redirection URL and the client identification details. Now the browser will forward the request to the redirection URL with the client details which is given by our API and it will go to Google OAuth2 server. Now the Google authentication page will open to the user. Now the user, the fourth and fifth step will happen user needs to provide their gmail id and the username and basically uh, email id and password once authentication is successful the OAuth server will generate the one authorization code that will send to the browser now the browser will forward the request to our api with the authorization code which is provided by the google OAuth server now uh, we have seen till uh, step 7 now the API or API will initiate the request to over to server with the authorization code plus client credentials. Client credential means client ID and client secret. So those details will be given to over to server. So over to server will validate uh, these details and generate the uh, access token. So access token will send back to our API and our API will try to get the uh, Protected resource. So, protected resource means so those resource needs to be. If you want to access those resource, so the request needs to be authenticated with the OAuth2 uh, server. That's we are calling as protected resource. So, our API will try to get the protected resource. So, we'll initiate the request to protected resource with the access token, right? So, those access token again will be validated with the OAuth server. That's the eleventh step, and the twelfth step will get the response. Whether it is success or failure. So once our uh, access token is validated and the API can get the protected resource, and then those same protected resource will send back to the browser. So this is a very basic flow of this OAuth2 works with Google OAuth2 server. So now we are going to create one small uh, Spring Boot application and we are going to integrate with the uh, Google OAuth2 server and we're going to demonstrate how it works. Let's uh, begin with our implementation let's create a spring boot application create new spring starter project here we will provide a name Next, you see two points one point five. We have to select uh, Spring Web and how to select two dependencies here Spring Web and for two client. So we have to select uh, these two dependencies. Finish. So let's wait for some time to project get created. Yes, a project is created. So enabling um, Google OAuth2 service in Spring Boot is very simple. So what we can do is first we'll go to application at properties. Here we have to add two properties to enable the Google OAuth2 authentication service. Now we will configure Google OAuth2 related configuration in the application at properties. Ping dot dot OAuth2 dot client dot registration dot Google dot client ID. I'll tell you how to generate client ID and client secret. Now just will 
mention these properties. Client secret. So we we have to fill this client data in client secret. So we will generate it in some time. So what we can do is now now we will generate on a simple REST endpoint so that we can test our uh, API. Click string. Welcome page. Welcome to the string. Get map. So we will keep it as a default one. And we will write one more uh, endpoint. Get you. So principle is like you know it will give the the uh, authenticated user details, the username and the email and their basic details will be we can get it using this principle object. Get user the endpoint. So endpoint is ready. Now we have done our uh, Spring Boot application is almost ready for this cool worth the authentication. Now we have to create the client ID and secret. Basically, we have to register our application in the uh, Google Cloud so that then only the Google uh, OAuth server will know our application and based on that, we, the user can able to authenticate uh, in the OAuth server. Right. For that, we have to go to Google Cloud Console. The search Google Cloud. So I'm just logging into the Google Cloud now. So if you are very new to Google Cloud, it will ask you to uh, give your basic details and ask for your credit card information. So it, they won't charge anything, but they will ask for this those informations. So there's I think the, for one month there is the we have a trial period we can use google cloud for free so i am also subscribed to that so with that only i'm going to demonstrate to you is what to other authentication since i have already done for me it is asking to go to console directly if you are new it will ask you to uh trial period kind of options will be there where it will ask for a few details once you've done that and it will take it to the console page i'm directly going to the console so once you reach the console there will be a dashboard. Go to dashboard. In that, we have an option called APN services. And that we have a credentials. Right. So go to credentials. So in the credentials, you can you can able to see API key OAuth 2.0 client ID. I already created one. So I have listing one application listing down and service accounts. On top of that, you can find create credentials options. That's the one button. Just click on that, then you'll find three more options. Select or client ID. So once you selected it, it will uh, take you to the next page. Select application type as web publication, application name, OAuth to sample, whatever I gave, you no, know, same thing I'm giving it. So here, authorized redirect URL. So here you have to provide. We are going to run our application in localhost and we are going to run in 80 default port. And now, after that, we have to provide the endpoint of Google, uh, no, Google uh, authentication. Again, class both to as, as Google. So, this is the URL URI which we have to provide it here. 
and create. So once you are done, the uh, once you click on the create button, you can able to see your client ID and client secret. Just copy this. I'm just copy the client ID. Go to application property and put in client ID. Same way, copy the your client secret. Copy paste it client secret page. Right now, our uh, Spring Boot application is completely ready. Same way, we have registered our application in Google Cloud also for OAuth to authentication. Right now, we will start our application. Starting the application now. Yes, application is started now. I will test it. Go to browser. Bring new private window so that the cache issue will not be there. Localhost 8080. So it is taking me to the now we can see uh, Google Low to services working. It is taking me to the sign in with Google page. Let me enter. We have to enter our uh, email ID so we can see sign in to continue with OAuth to samples. That was the project name we gave, right? So it is telling that once you authenticated, this will be uh, forwarded to this OAuth to service. Sorry, OAuth to sample website. Click on next. Enter the password. Once the password is entered, click on next. So, my account is enabled with uh, booster verification. Approve my mobile phone. Once it, once it is approved, so you can see this. It is going to the default or uh, uh, home page. So we have a one welcome page, right? As endpoint, so it is going there. Welcome to what authentication? So you can see. So it is automatically forward to this page, right? So default page. Now we'll see our uh, custom endpoint that is get user. So you can see the principal object. This is basically the, the complete details of the particular the user, which you know when the user is logging in through the Gmail uh, login page, right? So Gmail is giving us some basic information about the user. So those details we can get from the principal object. So if you see this, you can able to see the name. You can see the name and the email ID, scope, all of the scopes we have uh, access like basic uh, scope. We got the user info for uh, user info email and user info for profile. So these two uh, scope we got access. So we can able to access the, the particular user's email and the user info. Basically, the profile information we can get. So that's all, guys. So this is very easy and very uh, simple example I shown you how can use Google War to service with them. So I hope you enjoy this uh, video. Please subscribe to our export channel and share with your friends and share your comments in the section. Thank you guys. I'll see you in some another video. Thank you all.